You guys have it. The the bottom pair is the Alwyn pair, and the top part is the Cry Precision pair. As you see, the top here it's about almost a matching. The colors off a little bit uh, on the replica, but as you can see, it's about the same thing, same cut as far as the the Velcro here and the, the Velcro here. The same thing here. You have your two buttons there, and on the Cry pair, you also have the you have one button, and yeah, there's a second one here. It's hidden, but uh, pretty much to the top, they both have the padding, so it has a, a thick padding in here, and this one has a, uh, it's not as thick, but it's a small padding, you can see they try to replicate it, so moving down here, you have the pockets here, and you got a pocket here, and on the inside you have also the, the knee pad, this is to, to adjust the knee pads and for placement. You have it on the side as well. There's another one here. But let's move this pair out of the way. On the Alwyn, same thing. You got a pocket here. And you have a pocket here. And as well as the same thing here. You have also the knee pad adjustment in here as well. And on the other side as well here too. Same thing. You have another uh, knee pad adjustment here. But pretty much almost the same cut. Except the only difference is... Uh, you know the color, the slight color different. This one's not washed. It. This is brand new, and this is a, I guess this is a used pair of uh, Air Ones car positions. But it's basically, uh, from the uh, first glance, they look the same. From a distance, they look the same. They both, uh, it's a good, uh, it's, it's a good replica. I mean, they try to get it as close as possible to to the real. As you can see here, this is the. The dura stretch here for the cry precision. This also has padding here around the edges, and this one here has a cheaper version. As you can see, it's a cheaper version, but it's a close enough color to that. And around here, this has uh, no padding really, a slight padding maybe uh, on the the knee pad hole. So it's basically so far it's almost the same. It's a, the quality and stitching, obviously, it's better stitching in the cry than it would be on the Alwyn, but so far that's them sitting next to each other, a legit cries to, to the Alwyn. So let's go down to the bottom part here. This one has a pocket on the side here and it has the, the, the boot adjustment to tighten it around the, the bottom of your boot. As the Alwyn is the same thing. It has the same pocket, same location, and it has also the uh, the same uh, boot, uh, adjustment for the bottom of your, your legs so it's pretty much the same so far on the back side has also uh, the cries have the dirt stretch has uh, some good stitching here and hold on the Alwyn's here same material uh, stitching is not as, as good but I guess I, I guess uh, you know it's a replica guys so like I said, the difference in price here, <laughs> this would be, I guess if you were to buy the pants alone, the albums, if they did sell it alone, you'd probably be paying like probably like 60 bucks, 70 bucks. As to the Cry Precision Air ones uh, eBay anywhere from 700 to like uh, 800 maybe 600 somewhere around there in that range. So, but if you don't have the money for that, you can buy this for less than 200 bucks, the whole entire combat set. But this is a, just a quick comparison on uh, the patterns to the look. So, oh yeah, this is a large regular, and this is a 36. Uh, that's about two centimeters difference between the large regular to the 36. So it's probably like a 35, 35 and a half or something like that. But they pretty much fit the same, except the the Air One Cry Precisions fit a hundred times better. They're nice and comfortable and soft. You can sleep in them. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, the Alwyn's, it's a lighter, it's a lighter material. Uh, it's like a ripstop material. It's real light. You're not gonna get hot in these. Like I said, I haven't worn them yet. Uh, let's see exactly how they hold up uh, in a couple of games of Aerosoft a couple of weeks after washing Let's see what they look like. I will do another video to let you know if they're worth to be if they're battle tested and worth like purchasing but for now this will be a Like I said a replica set for pictures and stuff like that for cosplay and uh, Things of that nature. So there you guys have it. I uh, hope you enjoy the The comparison video. I know it's a little shaky. I'm filming this off my iPad mini uh, just to get a better, uh, closer view on, uh, on the, the actual pairs. So, before I end this video, actually, let me get this out of the way. 
and I have a comparison as well as for the knee pads. This is the Awa knee pad, this is the Cry Precision knee pad. I don't know if you can see the difference there. 100 times better quality on the Cry Precision as the Awa in there is the G Plastic. I recommend you do get the, uh, if you do get the, the replica set, I do recommend that you get the Cry Precision. I paid about 40 bucks for them. The, the Air Flexes, uh, the Combat knee pad from Cry Precision. There you go, it's legit. It's not bootleg, and there has the CP, as this doesn't have the CP. This one has a hundred times better <laughs> quality stitching, as this one has the regular stitching. This one's a softer rubber plastic, and this is just a, a harder shell. So, it's the back of it here, it's just black stitching, so whatever, it has like a silky material. And this has, obviously, a way better stitching. It has a tan stitching, it's a better material here. But they both have the Velcro to stick to the pants here. As the Alwyns have the same thing, but not as good because this will come off. So, but there you guys have it, bro. Thank you for uh, for watching the video. Hope you liked the review. Hope you learned something for you, all you people out there looking to get the Alwyns. Uh, there you guys have it. Thanks for watching.